every opposition, every hostility left the community bigger in size and greater in spirit and spirituality. In spite of all the, 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 the efforts to stop this, the spread of his message, we find that even today this, the message is continuing to spread. His message has reached the, the four corners of the earth as prophesied as the revelation he has received himself. We find that uh, his uh, message is flourishing more when persecution gets worse. The more persecution, the more uh, his, his message spreads and the more uh, we find that the help of Allah is coming to his, uh, to his followers. All the efforts of hostile fanatics, be they individuals, groups or governments, have totally failed in their aim of wiping Ahmadiyyat from the face of the earth. Instead, God stood by his servant, Hadrat Mirza Hulam Ahmad, peace be upon him, and fulfilled all his promises, and, as prophesied in 1898, caused his message to reach the corners of the earth. Today, Ahmadiyyat stands established in over 182 countries, and the pace of its growth is destined to engulf the entire world with its message of love for all, hatred for none. That is to show that the message was not at all hampered. Difficulties are always there and difficult times were also there, not only during his lifetime but also after the, uh, his demise during the period of Caliphate. Always there are trials, oppositions, so many slogans, so many resolutions, so many ordinances. All these things are there. Difficult times are definitely was there and they will are there and they will be there. But that means that, uh, that doesn't mean that the message is going to be stopped ever. <laughs> In accordance with guidance from God Almighty, Hadrat Mirza Hulam Ahmad, peace be upon him, created the Ahmadiyya Muslim community to rejuvenate Islam and re-establish the unity of God in the world. His divine mission was to present Islam in its pristine purity, restoring the same teachings that were taught to us by the Prophet Muhammad. First thing, he has not created anything new. By, the, uh, by that he meant that uh, I am not introducing or presenting anything totally new because his very mission was simply the mission of revival of Islam to reintroduce the true message of Islam. He would offer a clear presentation of Islamic wisdom and philosophy, morals and spirituality as derived from the Holy Quran and the practice of the Holy Prophet. The same Islam which advocates peace and love tolerance and understanding among followers of various faiths. He would form brotherhood, not through bloodshed and coercion, but through devout faith and absolute submission to the will of God. The Ahmadiyya Muslim community claims to be the, the one who is following the true teachings of Islam. Of course, all the other sects will claim the same thing. Anybody in any sect of Islam will say that we are the true Muslims. It's very interesting to note that uh, the Holy Prophet of Islam, may peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, he was asked uh, a very pertinent question. When he made the prophecy that uh, Jewish people, the Christian people, they were divided, so the Muslims are also going to be divided. And he mentioned that uh, they will be divided into 73 sects, and 72 of them will be in the wrong, and only one will be on the right path. And he mentioned that uh, the, other, the one on the right path would be the people going to paradise. All of them will be hell going except one sect. So companions asked him, put this question, that, O Prophet of Allah, how shall we recognize the Naji or the paradise bound sects or successful sects among your followers. Ma'ana alayhi wa sahabi. That if you want to find out 
who are the members of that organized community and who are those people then i tell you one criterion and that is that they would be following the my path and the path of my followers that is to say that they will be doing on the positive side the same things which i do and which my followers have been doing the situation the environment the condition in which you see me and my followers today they will be on the same condition the same environment the same situation they face now call to your mind what was the situation hazrat muhammad may peace and blessings of allah be upon him was facing the companions of the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam they were not allowed to say kalima la ilaha illallah muhammad rasulullah there is none worthy of worship except allah and muhammad is the messenger of allah this is the fundamental declaration of faith in islam so these people were persecuted for that tortured for that purpose and a full history is there to find out uh, what sort of treatment was given to them the muslims were called names they were not allowed to claim to be muslims they were given a different name sabi they were not allowed to call their mosques to be mosques they were not allowed to say azan call for prayers their houses were burnt exactly exactly same situation is faced by the community today everywhere ahmadis are not allowed to call themselves to be muslims if any ahmadi claim to be muslim then they send him to, to jail they are not allowed to name their worshiping place to a mosque if anybody does that then he is punished they are not allowed to say kalima la ilaha illallah muhammadur rasulullah and ahmadi are not allowed to say assalamu alaikum their houses are burned their business are destroyed the way the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and his companions were persecuted the same history is being repeated so much so that one uh, prominent leader in pakistan once he admitted in a court statement that nowadays we are doing to the ahmadiyya community and its followers the same treatment as the non believers used to do to the holy prophet and his followers so they have come out with the truth the cat is out of the bag as they say all 72 sects unanimously declared only one community should be non muslim hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that 72 will be hell bound only one only one community will remain in one side that will be paradise bound wada e haq the continuity and growth of the ahmadiyya muslim community has been blessed by the revival of the institutional khilafat in Islam. The Khalifa is the spiritual head of the worldwide community and his every command is obeyed by his followers. Thus, Ahmadi Muslims from all walks of life stand united behind one leader. Jinko the institution of khilafat which can be described as the system of spiritual leadership in islam is uh, one of the very important things to be understood after the demise of the holy prophet of islam sallallahu alaihi wasallam may peace and blessings of allah be upon him he made a prophecy that there will be a system of caliphate after him which will continue up to uh, nearly 30 years and this is exactly what happened and then he mentioned that there is another stage in the period of latter days when this institution will be restarted again reestablished again and that would naturally be after the demise of the one who was promised to come the reformer of the age the promised messiah and imam mahdi when he will pass away after his demise again once again this system of khilafat will be established nahi koi awaaz waqt 
ਸਤਿ ਕੀ ਤੇਰੇ ਸ